Morning legends, I am in the passenger seat. Reedy is here driving. Morning. We are off to a sports camp um, being run by a mental health charity called Zero to Hero. Um, a friend of mine actually runs it. It's a great organization who um, give talks and go into schools and run programs for teenagers to help them um, with their mental health and understand the importance of good mental health and also um, suicide prevention. Um, so it's a great cause. Um, Reedy and I are both passionate about mental health. So we're going out there to present. Um, these kids are at a um, sports camp for the week. Still school holidays here, so they're obviously last week of their school holidays. On this sports camp, they've got experts um, coming in from all different sports and all different walks of life. Um, so we're going to present on cricket. I'm going to actually do a bit of a talk on peak performance and what I believe the best athletes in the world do. So do that. Hopefully they've got a PowerPoint um, presentation system that I can use. Otherwise I've got my computer. Um, and then we're going to teach some cricket skills. Not sure what the standard of people or athletes are going to be. They're going to be from a variety of different sports. I did this same thing last year. So I've got a bit of an understanding of what it's going to be, but then we're going to do a bit of fielding um, and depending on their facilities, maybe a bit of work in the net. So Looking forward to getting into it this morning. We've got a 45 minute drive out to Whoop Whoop. Road trip out to Bullsbrook. Get underway, guys. If I can just have your attention for a little bit, um, I'm just going to go through a little presentation which I think will hopefully give all of you some value. I know I'm here to talk about cricket and teach cricket, but um, I know a lot of you guys prefer other sports, play other sports, um, so I'm going to try and give you some value that you can take and implement into your own sport, whether it be footy, basketball or anything else. Um, I want to try and help you guys learn something here this morning. So. We'll start with a little presentation and then we'll get outside um, and do some cricket skills. So thanks for very much for your attention. Thanks for, for being here and well done to Ash and the organisers for putting on another great camp. I'm sure you guys are learning a lot and, and having a good time. Cricket mentoring is my business. Um, a little tiny bit about me before I go into some learnings. I played cricket professionally in England. Um, this, is at, this is at Lords when I was playing for Middlesex on my debut against the Bangladesh national team. Um, my name on the scoreboard, which was a, a real um, thrill for me. I grew up in Central Australia. I grew up in Alice Springs, small town. Some of you might know, might not know. This is me with a couple of the world's best cricketers. The bloke on the right, does anyone know who that is? Anyone know who this is? If I go back. Now, nah, Adam Voges, coach of the Perth Scorchers. Um, do we all know who the Scorchers are? Yep, so not going very well at the moment. But Vogesy, a good friend of mine, played cricket with him. Bloke in the middle on the left is an England test cricketer. So I've spent a lot of time with guys like these, um, trying to learn from them and, and sort of learn about their careers and basically um, share their stories and how they got to be the best in the world with everybody and whoever's interested. And that's sort of where my passion is now is trying to help young people like you guys learn what it takes to become the best because I've already heard from a few of the mentors here that there's a lot of ambition in the room, and I'm going to talk a bit more about that shortly, but if you don't have sort of the right work ethic and the right mindset, you'll never achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, so my talk now is going to be a bit about that and how you guys can become the best athletes based on what I've seen over the last 10 years or so being a professional sportsman and interacting with some of the world's best cricketers. So obviously I'm a cricket expert, but I like to really talk about mindset. Um, cricket, this is Steve Waugh, former Australian cricket captain. He says cricket is 90% mental and 10% physical. Now, I don't know what it's like for exactly, and this is just a quote, one person's opinion, but it's, it's pretty close to what people agree on. Um, and I don't know what other, pe other sports generally are. Netball, um, AFL, AFL is very physical. You have to be incredibly fit. You have to be um, incredibly brave and tough but you also have to be smart. You have to sort of understand the game. You have to understand where you need to be, what, what's going on, etc. But cricket is a very mental sport, okay? But all sports require 
your mind and your mindset to be in the right space. Okay, so in, from what I've seen over the years, I've come up with my theory that there's six pillars to success. And this goes across all sports again, it's not just cricket. Morning done with the um, sports camp. It was an interesting session. Um, there was about 30 kids, some far more engaged and interested than others, some just no interest at all. They wanted to just sleep and weren't um, interested. It was a bit different to the last camp I went to. This one was run by a um, town council down in Waruna, which is south of Perth. And so I think some kids didn't actually even want to be there. Um, whereas last camp I went to for there, that was, all the kids were really keen to be there. All the kids were really keen to learn. So it was a challenge. It was interesting. There were some good kids though. Um, their cricket skills were pretty um, minimal. They hadn't done much cricket before, but I gave a good, quite a good talk, which I think um, a lot of them got value from. So good that that is um, done. Nice to help out with the mental health charity. As I've mentioned previously, we're now heading back into Perth, 45 minute drive back to Perth. Um, and then gonna do some content editing, get some content out today. Got a few YouTube videos that need to be edited and published and then coaching and training this afternoon. Just been to Harvey Norman, picked up a new watch, new Garmin watch, you little beauty. Garmin's a brand I love, I want to try and get sponsored by them, I've been trying. So if anyone knows someone at Garmin, let me know. Just got our coffees. You little beauty, Reedy's holding my new, brand new toy, which I'm pumped about. Nothing better than a coffee mid-morning. Here's my new watch, Garmin 4 Runner 235. Absolutely pumped to get this bad boy up and running. I love my watch, it's one of my favorite things. I need it for my coaching, I need it for my running. This is an absolute belter. Here it is, exciting new watch. From Garmin. Instructions. Charger. Now how do we get this bad boy out? Ta da! Peel this off. We might have to have a look. We're away. So it's a GPS running watch. I have to set it up in English. <clears throat> nice shot, good balance, brilliant. <clears throat> that's the one, that's the danger ball. Just gotta try and, you just gotta try and get something behind it rather than pushing your hands at it. You just gotta try and get in line with it and just stop it, even if it hits your pad. That's not, you're never going to get out LB. Just got to try and not scoop it in the air. <clears throat> nice shot. Look where you're finishing though. I want you to try and finish outside off. That's it. Get across. That's it. More balance. <clears throat> nearly. Nearly. Left side in control of your drive. <clears throat> Good girl. Lovely shot. Probably not, probably a bit close to you to try and cut. So that's one if you'd stepped it, you either go back and block, or if you'd stepped to the offside, you could have pulled it. So always try and get outside off with your feet and your head. Does that make sense? 
Nearly. Have oh, you played that one a bit better? Good work. Got away with it, but I'd like to see your head down a bit longer. A bit more than leaving it up. All good. All good. Like how you're watching it. Just try and get across. That's what we've got to keep working at. Good. Okay, let's try a few leggies again. Different challenge again. All good. That's a leave. Spin and bounce. Excellent footwork, Chloe. Well done. Got inside the line of the ball beautifully. Even better. Lovely shot. Look, wait. Because you're getting set, your balance, you can get power rather than when you're falling away, there's no balance, no power. Oh, good hands, good hands. So got to get used to, move that ball. Got to get used to this spin. Something you're just not used to. So the more you do it, the better you'll get. Started to, your hands are starting to go where the ball is now. It's good. Lovely footwork. Getting right back and across. Good girl. Shot. Brilliant shot. What else, how else could you have played that one? Yep, and any other shot you could have played? Cut, maybe a cut with the spin, because it got a long way away from you because it was spinning away. You thought, oh, it's bouncing now, I'll pull it, and then it spun away and you sort of had to reach for it. So if you get in that position, maybe you can pull or cut, depending on how much it spins. Yes, good. Wade's getting on your back foot. Good. Good. Track the ball out of contact. Yeah, or left. Solid. Excellent. That's a good leave. Not bad. Very front on though. Like your back, the balls come straight though. Well left. Side on. Really work. Getting back and then side on. Weight in your left foot. Back foot. Shot. Well left. Shot. That's catching height though. Good. Good. Solid D. Love that. Really nice shot in here, but I would rather see you be disciplined and hit that with a straight back. Because if you're coming across with a lot of bottom hand, if it holds up a bit or swings a bit, leading edge or bold is on the cards. Rather you just punch that through mid on. Runs. You push to that. So what, you, what you've done so well is you've like let your forward defense, you've let it come and your top hand's in control. That one you pushed at. Bottom hand pushed at it and your bat sort of went across. Okay? Rather than straight. Yes, mate. Brilliant. Shot boy.